Hi, ich bin's, euer Tim und ich bin jetzt gerade auf der Maker Fair in Berlin 2016 und bin jetzt hier am Stand von Craftbot, das ist der Craftbot 2. Um, Nathan, can you tell us something about the Craftbot? What is the idea behind the small printer with the big print volume? Okay, the Craftbot pretty much was made, we were uh, makers ourselves and we made a machine that uh, we wanted to use and I think uh, having a sturdy, dependable uh, component system, a big build volume and a small shape uh, in a small size uh, printer uh, was optimal and uh, we basically just built the uh, printer that we wanted to make and then the uh, software and that came after, the software and such uh, firmware came after that and uh, yeah we've made, a after we founded the business we've made a lot of improvements and uh, we've recently released our third generation printer, the CraftBot 2. Looks very great to printer, uh, but uh, I think one of the biggest questions, which materials can I print with it? Um, we manufacture uh, PLA and ABS. So those are the two most popular print materials. Uh, and you can, you can pretty much use anything with it as long as it's dependable on the market. Uh, our print, uh, our material, our filament is actually made in Hungary. Uh, and it's, it's a moderate price. And we, of course, recommend getting our filament. But if you want something exotic, uh, we ourselves, we print with a lot of exotic filaments. We print with bronze fill. We print with uh, nylon hips, um, wood fill, uh, carbon fiber mixes, hybrid materials. We get all types of cool things sent to us, dropped off at our place. And we are always looking to print with new stuff. Do you also try to print flex materials? Oh yes, absolutely. Flexible materials, um, the Ninja Flex. Uh, yeah, absolutely. With the printer, uh, if you print with a flexible material, with any printer, we'd recommend a lower uh, a lower feed speed. Um, yeah, if you if you print super fast, it, it has a tendency to uh, bend before it goes through all the way through the extruder. Uh, yeah, that, I think the hardest material with a lot of printers to print with is actually with the flexible materials. Some you can print with faster, but uh, some you just need to modify uh, in the slicer and the, the print settings, uh, your speed. That's my next uh, question. Uh, which uh, slicer do you use? Uh, you can use any slicer you want with the CraftBot as long as it generates G-code. We make our own slicer. Uh, for the moment, it's free to download from our website uh, at craftunique.com. Uh, it's called Craftware. And uh, as we know it now, it is uh, the fastest. And if there's a faster one, we'll, uh, we'd like to see it. And uh, we, we would make changes to ours. The, uh, the visual aspect of Craftware is uh, impressive, to say the least. And the my favorite thing is the parameters. You can go into an expert mode on it. You can have a default mode, which does very well, but you can go into expert mode. You can change all the supports that it would generate. One by one, you can create your own supports. Uh, all, all the feeds, you can, you can look at G-code layer by layer. Uh, it's worth it to check out. I could talk about it forever, but uh, to see it yourself and to play around with it, uh, I think it's definitely worth the experience. And the best thing is it's, it's free for the moment. I will download it, so uh, thanks for the interview and have a nice day. All right, thanks a lot, and uh, it's good to be here at the Maker Fair in Berlin.